Hello, everybody. Uh, thanks for tuning in once again. This is the Comics Project. My name's Luke Stone, and I'm here with a quick tutorial. Uh, last time, I showed you guys how to do renderings, um, taking your flats and adding in some shadows and some highlights and how that can look good. Uh, today, I want to take a look at the glowy bits. And so what you might notice here on my screen um, is... A uh, picture of bone. I'm going to take out some of these things here so that uh, we can kind of start from scratch with some of that. Um, as you can see, I have the character bone already rendered out. Now this is going to be a uh, an image for one of our uh, trading cards. We're, we're doing a whole series of hybrid trading cards, and so this is going to be one of those. Uh, so as you can see, I have there's my flats, and I turn that on. Now I've got my renders. So you've got your flats and your renders. We're going to be working behind some of these and then on top of the render today. Okay, so uh, first things first, let me um, just shrink that down just a tad bit. I'm going to stay here on the flats. I'm going to go with my wand. I'm going to pick this pink bit here in the middle. I'm going to do my Command C, my Command V, and that's going to copy that layer of color. And then it's going to, uh, again, produce a new one. And then I am going to go to Lock Transparency because I don't want my transparency to be messed with. So what I'm going to do here, instead of doing like a lot of the cuts and gradients and things like that, this is mostly going to be stuck on my um, on my airbrush tool. Uh, again, the airbrush is going to be at 100% uh, opacity, 50% flow. Uh, and I'm just going to be working with different various sizes uh, to it. I might actually turn on the, um, the size um, and the, the opacity. Uh, so I'll, I will turn on opacity for pressure, and I will probably also turn on size for pressure as well. So let's just get started then. Um, I will go in here and select the color pink that I have, but I want to start to do a little bit of work with that and just uh, go in and kind of clear out some of this, get a little bit of a, a feel. Um, like it's a kind of like a, like it's a portal. This is the teleportation portal that that Bone has, and so you see a lot of this throughout the comics. And um, he's constantly um, constantly using it. <laughs> and uh, I'm just going to go in here, and, and this is a lot of freehand. So I'm going to be using a lot of freehand on this on this bit. I'm going to try to go quickly so that you can kind of see what I am doing and how the effect works in general. Um, so let me change my color a little bit. I kind of want to go into like a little darker color there. Um, kind of thicken up the edges there. It's going to be a lot of color options. Go back to a lighter color, just straight up white this time, and some of these edges. So I think with any kind of comic, the highlights is what really makes the coloring and what really makes the art pop. And so, uh, as you can see, I'm I'm trying to work with that already. Now I am not going to merge this layer down. I think I'm going to be done with that layer, uh, but I'm not going to merge that layer down. I'm going to leave it where it's at and I'm going to build on top of it. So I'm going to go back into the wand and I'm going to choose all of this pink, darker pink bit here. So we've got all that. We're going to do Command C, Command V again. Um, we are going to lock transparency for a little bit on this one, and we're going to move that layer up to where it's above the other pink. Go back into our brush, and then we are going to pick our colors like we did the last time. Um, let's start with some highlight, though.
come in here and just give this some texture make it look like it's got some kind of mass to it that it is definitely going to be folding on top of itself a little bit this is the first step to making this look like it's something instead of just this two-dimensional image that we've drawn on here And again, transparency is locked, so I don't have to worry about coloring inside the lines so much. Um, I'm going to go in here now and add a darker color. Not as much of the darker color as I am the highlight color because the highlight color is really what I want to show that will make it pop so let's go back in here with some more highlights get, let's get a little more drastic on the I'm using a little bit of pressure To make that flow just a little bit more. Okay, so now that's that's pretty good. It definitely looks like it's got some um, some substance to it, some thickness to it. Now we're going to start working on making it glow. Uh, one of the things I did when I drew this was I took the teleport lines and I left them off uh, on a different, on different um, not leave them off, I left them on a different layer. So that I can turn them off and I can turn them on because I want those there, but I don't want those, um, I don't want those to be black. I want those to be another color. So I typically will kind of turn all of my bottom stuff off. Um, when I'm doing this, I probably don't have to do this, but I do it anyway, um, just so that I'm safe, I guess. Uh, call me paranoid. Uh, so what I'm going to do with this layer, I'm going to change the color of these lines. There's probably a hundred different ways that you can do this, um, but I just like using the colorize so that I can change the color. I like turn my saturation all the way up. I choose my color here, I like that pink, and then I also want them pretty light, so I just do that. And once I've got that color that I like, I just merge these two together, boom, and then I turn everything back on down below. And so now I've got kind of this, this look going on here. But I want to add a small glow to that, so I will. The, the simplest way to do that is to go to Layer Properties, uh, Styles, Layer Styles, and then I just go down to um, Outer Glow, and I want it to be a bit of a white glow. So I'll turn that opacity down. So I know Patrick does this a little differently than I do. Um, I turn the spread up and that down. And then I like the way that looks, um, kind of. So I will probably turn the opacity of the lines down. Um, I don't know, maybe I'll leave them there. Um, I'll probably duplicate the layers. Let's see what happens if I duplicate these layers. Um, it might be cool. We might be able to do something cool here. And then here, I'm going to take the outer glow off. And then I'm going to put in um, a stroke. Whoa, too much. That's kind of neat. Maybe not. I don't know. 
here, let's do this. Let's take the stroke off. See, a lot of this is, is just kind of figuring out what you want to do. And I think maybe I'm going to color these, do a color overlay, make them white. Because that could be cool. And then I will turn the opacity of that down. So now it looks even even more glowy. All right, so we'll stick with that for now. We'll see. I might not like it. I might change my mind uh, once I get a little further in. Uh, but that's okay. That's okay. You can do that. You can change your mind whenever you want. You don't have to be stuck with anything. Uh, that's why I like to work digital. So I'm going to go down here below all of those layers. I'm um, even going to go below my, well, I'm probably going to turn my flats off. Nah, I'll probably leave the flats on. There's a couple pieces that I I left in there. But um, I will go down here to, and add a layer below the flats. And this is going to be kind of my glow layer. Like I'm going to add some. I'm going to turn a couple of this couple these things off here. I'm going to add some, some color behind these. I don't like that color. Let's go, let's choose another one of these colors, these pinks that I've used. Let's get that one in there. Okay, now I've kind of got this going. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to come in here and use white. As you can see, I'm just going in here and adding a little bit of kind of white glow behind the lines, taking out some of that pink tone. And I would welcome some comments or maybe even links to some other videos to show other techniques on how to do something like this. But uh, you know, I'm just kind of showing what I like to do. Um, I think this is pretty usable. This will look pretty good on the card, I think. Um, I'm going to go ahead and save this. 
then we're going to do something else. So now we've got like this pink and it's kind of glowing and um, I want to start adding a little more effect to it. So I'm going to add a new layer on top of the glow and I'm going to use probably just this white again and I'm going to run over top of it and then I'm going to start messing with my layer styles, uh, the blend styles here. So we'll go with darken. Not bad. Multiply. Mm, not really. Let's go to lighten and see what that does. Don't like that. Not at all. How about screen? Nothing good there. Overlay. That might be good. Turn down the opacity just a bit. Now I want to add some um, highlight over over bone because uh, obviously there's this like kind of like pink glowy stuff and there is no pink glowing lines on him whatsoever. So that needs to be addressed. And so I'm going to go in here with this kind of pink color that we used before. And I'm just going to kind of add some pink kind of on top here. And i um, got so much lag right now. I don't even understand why. So we've got, I wasn't clean with that at all. I just want to show you how easy this can be. Um, go down to screen. And that takes all of that, that pink that I just did and gets rid of it doesn't show up on the kind of like the white bits so the highlights still pop out the background still pops out there's nothing on the it catches up eventually And then I can go in here and turn that opacity down, which is what I want to do. I don't want it to be as prominent as what it is. So I will do that. And that gives me a good kind of a pink glow. It makes sense that, you know, there's some pink light there. Um, but there's one other thing that Bone has that I haven't drawn on here yet, and that is he has glowing arm tattoos. And so some more glowy bits. So let's work some more on that. Add a new layer. I'm going to go in here with my. Um, I'm actually going to go go in here with my uh, inking inking pen. My simple round. I use a usually use a ten point brush, and I'm going to go in and draw this with. Um, man, it's so laggy today. Sorry about that, guys. And draw this with some white. I wonder if it has something to do with OBS. OBS yeah, seems to be acting acting weird today. So I'll go in and I will just over top of what I've already drawn for his tattoos, and I will draw another layer of the tattoo. A little difficult with the lag, but also got these tattoos here on his chest. So I'll just go in and highlight everything that is supposed to be part of his glowy bits. Alright, so all the tattoos are now drawn again. 
Um, I won't be doing, from this point, I won't be doing any more tattooing, like drawing the tattoos. Um, white is going to be the main color there, uh, but I need it to glow, have like kind of that pink glow. So it gives that kind of that look. So I will wind up duplicating this layer a few times to get the effect. I like to throw up this screen. And we're just going to do an outer glow. Um, and we are going to make this move that out of the way. Zoom in so that we can get a good look. Um, we'll just focus on the tattoos here on the chest because that will give us a good idea, especially once the rest of that black's been covered up. So we do want the opacity up on that, but we don't want it to be as big as that. So we're going to turn that spread down. We're going to turn that size way down. We just basically were trying to take the hard edges and make them not hard. We're trying to make them kind of soft. So we're going to do with a probably a two pixel. Um, see, if you turn up the spread, it makes it even bigger. So we want to turn that spread down to maybe a two pixel as well. Um, maybe four. We'll try four pixel. My other four. There we go. That looks pretty good. So we are going to take that and then we're going to duplicate that layer. Yes. It gets kind of gets kind of busy. So I'm going to move the new layer below underneath because that's where I want to work. And so here what I want to do is I want to go back to that outer glow, but I want to change that color to this probably this pink right there. And now from here I want to give this a bigger spread. So we're going to go with a 6 not done. Bring it back, not done. And then we're going to go with our size. I'm going to bring that, that spread back down. <laughs> Do I like it? Not really. Kind of like it there. So we're certainly not done yet here. I think I'm going to give that one um, a little bigger glow. Like that. I'm going to duplicate that layer. Um, I really would love to know how um, Patrick does this, but this is how I do it. And I'm going to go back to that outer glow. We're going to change that color to softer pink. We're going to take that size down a little bit. I think an even softer pink. Let's go back to this top layer and mess with that glow just a little bit. Mm, that's his glowy bit tattoos. So I mean that. It will work perfectly fine for what I'm using it for. Um, there is um, there's the rendering of the glowy bits and the colors and adding that kind of stuff in. Uh, as you can see, it didn't take too long. Uh, it, it's more exploratory than it is anything. Uh, so if you're kind of into that, just play around with it a little bit. Um, don't be afraid to go with too much white. Um, it always that it really makes it pop. Um, I can see a couple things here that I would add. So let's just try that real quick. Let's if I if I were, you know, I'm gonna take this softer pink here. I'm gonna go back to my brush tool, and I'm gonna go on top of the um, top of the lines now. I am gonna go to the 50% brush right there. Let's take that guy. So 
Just gonna kind of add this stuff over top. And we're just gonna try some different um, blending options for it. See what it looks like. That looks pretty cool. Do a color burn. Nope. Linear burn. Too harsh. Nope. Again, just kind of too harsh. I want it to blend blend nicely. Sometimes I like doing an overlay. Overlay tends to be the one that I, I grab the most, and so I kind of like the overlay. So we're gonna go back to brush, and I'm just gonna add a little bit more in there. And then I might turn the opacity down just a little bit. It gives me the effect that I'm looking for. We might just stay with that. I might do this. Give another layer, throw that layer on the bottom, and just make a shadow and brush. Big. Let's just kind of turn the opacity down just to give it a little bit of texture. Tiny, tiny little shadow. And there is bone on a skateboard. Coming through a teleportation portal. So there you go. Well, if you've liked uh, the tutorial and if you would like to see more, just let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe, um, hit the little bell, and that will let you know when new things are coming up. I'm going to try to do different tutorials, probably going to be done with coloring. Uh, this is the extent of my coloring knowledge. It's just some little tips and tricks for helping out uh, people that are, are kind of in the beginner stage with that stuff. Um, I am mostly an artist, so we're going to talk about probably some uh, digital art, some digital line art. Um, uh, how to do all those kind of things, how to maybe get set up with the right gear um, to get started with that. And so I'll show a few different options. And uh, maybe uh, we've got a lot of new subscribers already, so we might go ahead and do a uh, some kind of a giveaway uh, for anyone who's out there that has subscribed, uh, pretty much anyone that subscribed since one subscriber. So uh, we'll probably take care of, uh, probably do something with that. So look for an announcement with that probably within the next couple of weeks. Uh, look forward to that. Um, we're also going to be going live at some point here soon, so looking forward to that as well. All right. Well, I've been Luke Stone, and this has been The Comics Project. Uh, thank you so much for um, uh, tuning in and being a part of uh, what we're doing today. Have a good day. God bless. Uh, and don't forget, be good to each other.